trucks driving by at all hours, lots of noise and a putrid smell. That's how EVA residents are describing their neighborhood after tens of thousands of gallons of wastewater spilled last week. Viewers reached out to KHON2 asking us to find out what was going on. Bryce Moore got some answers. The city says the spill began at the Eva Beach wastewater pump station on Friday and lasted into Saturday morning. The cause, a broken force main. The Environmental Protection Agency and Honolulu Council member Augie Tolba say the 63,000 gallon spill did not reach the ocean. So the good thing is that the spill hasn't gone into the water. So, you know, they're working around the clock and they're doing the best. And you know that, you know, we're challenged with resources. So uh, I know because I'm talking to the crews firsthand and they're concerned like everybody else and they're doing their best to clean up that spill. I asked nearby residents how the smell was this past weekend. <laughs> I didn't get up with this on TV, but I mean, it was really bad. You know, usually I come out here, clean out, you know, clean the yard, dig weeds or whatever, and work on my truck. I even couldn't come out here. You know, I bought this house, I didn't pay for this, you know. <laughs> then on Sunday and Monday, Two small spills near Fort Weaver Road and Popoy Place led officials to set up 24-hour monitoring sites to transport and redistribute the wastewater downstream. Environmental Services expects repairs to be complete by this coming weekend and says all spill sites have been both cleaned and deodorized. But I can tell you firsthand that the smell definitely still remains. And then, you know, you, you stay upstairs cooking dinner, it's like, you get the smell coming in, like, I gotta smell my food, is it spoiled? They're like, come on, you guys. For now, tanker vehicles are transporting wastewater from the pump station to the treatment plant. The city says a contractor is addressing the repair and says area residents should avoid doing laundry, using the dishwasher, or taking long showers until it's complete. Council member Tolba is crossing his fingers. That'll be by Saturday. Fingers crossed. That's right now the goal, the goal is to uh, get this thing completed by the weekend. And, you know, they're putting up updates on their website. I'm hopeful that, you know, they'll get it completed and our residents will be taken care of. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.